Hey YouTube, I have put together a trolling motor for my 2020 Hobie Outback. Um, I used to have a, uh, a PA-14, but uh, being that I'm a little older now, just a little too much for me. So anyway, I went with a Hobie Outback and love it, and I put in a uh, water snake trolling motor. You can see the head's uh, been removed there, and I put it through the cassette. Actually, that was a cassette for the PA-14, but it worked just fine. Um, anyway, there's the trolling motor, uh, uh, and uh, it's a 24-pound thrust, and it works just great. I'll get up to three and a half miles per hour. I'm not a small guy. I'm about 240 pounds, so it uh, gets me out there just fine. And the thing I really like about it is the speed controller that I put together. And I want to give a shout out and a thank you to the Tahoe Yak Fisher. Um, that's two words, Tahoe and then Yak Fisher. Anyway, he did an upload not too long ago and, and revised his trolling uh, motor controller uh, to this type of deal with this box and the PWM inside. And I added the, uh, uh, the voltmeter up there and kind of want to show you what I did. And I'll give a link to these things at the very end. I'll give some uh, still still shots at the end showing what, what I purchased and how I put it together. So anyway, I took the head off the, the water snake, makes it much cleaner, easier to use. You got three wires coming up out of the motor. You got a blue, a red, and a black. Uh, I just cut the, the blue and I capped it and stuffed it down there in the, uh, in the tube. Uh, PVC right there with an elbow and, and then a cable gland. I bought a little package of those, comes in different sizes, and that worked out just perfect. Anyway, on the wire there, I have the quick disconnect type uh, cable there. That makes it really easy. Got the cable glands back here. So anyway, up here we got the uh, podiometer speed controller, um, the percentage meter, and then forward and reverse. So turn it on, it's going to look something like that. And uh, we'll show you a little bit more about that in just a moment. Anyway, um, I have a <clears throat> Dakota lithium battery. It's a it's a 24 amp uh, hour battery. A little pricey. It's a little less than $500, but works great for my needs. Um, gets me where I want to go. And then the trolling is the thing I really like. And you can see I used kind of a marine type. Uh, uh, outlet, a male outlet there that my power cable plugs into. I also have um, this uh, uh, USB port for powering whatever, more specifically my, my GoPro, which is uh, connected right here. But uh, anyway, that's, that's how I have... Uh, set this thing up of course the the box is from is from uh, harbor freight and it fits that battery very nicely the the box come with comes with some foam i used whatever i needed just to keep it secure and it works out just fine anyway um that is my setup and i'm gonna put uh links at the end of this video uh that's going to show you what i purchased if you want to do the same but it's really quite easy to do um, I, I love it. It uh, just gets me out on the water a little bit longer. One thing I wanted to add when I when I uh, cut holes in the top of this plastic box, I used a box cutter. I outlined everything very nicely, but to cut the holes cleanly as best as possible um, for the two uh, the rectangular uh, uh, forward and reverse switch, and of course for the uh, percentage meter. I would take and lay my, my heat gun on my workbench on its side and I'd turn it on and I would uh, put the blade of my box cutter in front of it and it really worked out good for cutting. Uh, much quicker, uh, much more accurate, so if you just take your time uh, you'll, you'll cut some nice holes. And behind that heat, heat sink there's probably about uh, uh, 3 sixteenths to a half inch a hole smaller than the size of the heat sink, so um, it, it'll just, uh, although the PMW has heat sinks, I wanted to make sure it bleed off any extra heat, so uh, that's what I've done there.
So some of you uh, may want to know how I attached this to my Hobie. Uh, and I used Velcro. I used a Velcro brand, which is their heavy-duty Velcro. And the two parts of the Velcro are identical for the, the one side to the other. It's not the cloth type uh, uh, Velcro and then the hook and loop. They're both identical, but they are heavy-duty. And there they are right there. I'll kind of show a close-up of it. Those things are bad boys. And you can see that the other part is identical. And once you mate those things up and you press down on that, those are, that thing is not going anywhere. You can actually kind of hear it click in. So anyway, that's how I wanted to attach it to my boat. And I'm thinking about uh, putting a kill switch on it as well. And hopefully I can do a, a, a magnetic type kill switch so it, it would easily shut it down. Anyway, that's my box and how I attach it to my boat. But anyway, that is my Hobie Outback with a PWM speed controller. Hope you enjoyed the video.